Okay, so this is mirroring, right? So you can mirror. This is your phone, home screen, and you can mirror anything you want. Basically, this is your phone. We're going to go ahead into Waze. This is Waze. You got Waze on the screen. And basically, whatever you see on the phone, you see in the car screen. Now, let's go ahead and demo Apple CarPlay. And so CarPlay is the same in every single car in the world, right? So if I would go into, let's say, TuneIn application, watch the iPhone screen. See, it opens up the type. Tune in. If I exit out to home, it would go to home on CarPlay. So this is true CarPlay experience. And they quality products since 2002. For more product information, please see the description below the video. This is a demo for mirroring of iPhone and Android and for camera inputs. All products are 100% made in the USA. Please support American jobs. Apple CarPlay also available. See other video. To skip vehicle disassembly instructions, go forward to 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Hello. This video is for Honda Pilot and Honda Odyssey of the following years. In this video, we're going to show you how to add Apple CarPlay with four cameras or smartphone mirroring for iPhone or Android for four cameras. All our products are 100% made in the USA and 100% automotive grade. We will show you how to add rear camera if the vehicle is not equipped, front camera, right camera, and a left camera. Enjoy the video. If your vehicle is equipped with factory DVD systems, such as this one that has a DVD player right on the bottom, you will be able to display DVD player right on from the front screen. Now we're going to show you steps how to disassemble screen and radio to install 100% plug and play harnesses behind the screen and behind the radio. All harnesses are 100% plug and play. Step one, we're going to go ahead and remove this entire panel on the right hand side. So this entire panel has to be removed all the way to the right side. Okay, so you start from here, from this corner, with a big tool like this. And this panel just comes out. There's nothing holding it, and you can go to the other side and remove it. Once the panel is removed, move it out of the way. And we're going to go ahead to the other side and we're going to need to remove this panel. And now we're going to go ahead and remove this whole panel. This panel just comes out, pop it up, and just this panel can be just removed. Remove the panel, put it to the side. Then we're going to continue to remove in the center panel. So we're going to have to go ahead and remove this whole panel. It has clips. And the clips are pretty deep, so it's going to require a little bit of a strength to pull on it. But this whole entire panel is going to have to come out. And we're going to remove this panel by pulling it and continue to access the radio. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull out this panel. You can just pull it out by hand. There's really nothing holding it. There's space. You can put your hand in here. There's, there's no screws. There's no nothing. The panel just comes out, and you can disconnect this connector behind here. There are three. And move this whole panel out of your way to the back. All right, so the disassembly of this car is very, very easy. Now, we need to access the screen. One, two, three. All you got is this three screws. One, two, and you got a third one on top right here. So let's focus. You got one, two, and then third one in the middle. Remove the three screws to get access to the back of the radio. All right, so we're going to go ahead and remove the screws and access the radio. So basically remove the screws here. That's one. Make sure not to drop them. That's two. And you got third one. Three screws are out on the screen, and the connector that you need is this one. This is the connector that you're going to use 
to integrate Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So the features again we can have either Apple CarPlay or phone mirroring for iPhone or Android. We can also add navigation if we want to. Um, and if you want to add cameras, you can add front camera, right camera, left camera, and rear camera if you don't have any of the cameras. If you already have cameras installed, there is nothing to do. After we remove the screen, we want to remove the radio. To remove the radio, uh, two reasons. One is to install the auxiliary audio jet cable. And if you have, like this car, the DVD player, and you want to see it on the front screen, you want to install the cable with the video output to feed the video from the DVD to the front screen. But since DVDs are kind of dying out a little bit, um, a lot of people don't care about that, but that you will access it here. To remove the radio, there are four screws. Two over here and two over here. Remove the screws, pull the radio out. Once you remove the screws, just go ahead and pull the radio out. It just simply comes out and you'll be able to pull it out. All right, so go ahead and pull the radio out. Once you pull the radio out, you will start the installation of all the wiring harnesses. Please keep in mind, it does not matter whether you're installing Apple CarPlay or iPhone Android mirroring. The installation procedure is identical. The wiring is identical. The only difference in CarPlay, you're adding microphone, wireless receiver, and the remote control. An optional remote control is available for mirroring, but the wiring and an installation, all this procedure are identical without any changes. So, now, in the back of the radio, we're going to show you first. You're going to install this cable. You're going to find the matching connector for this. This is 20 pin right connector. This is your audio. This is how the audio from CarPlay or audio from mirroring will enter this system through auxiliary. If your car has factory DVD player like this one, it has a DVD player in here, and you want to see DVD player on your factory screen, you will have to purchase this harness separately and install it. Or you can just connect this RCA it's up to you. So you can splice into the factory harness or purchase this harness separately and this harness will allow you to see factory DVD on top screen. That's if you still want to use DVD. A lot of people don't care about DVDs anymore. DVDs are hard to get and people use their smartphone. The options will include front camera, uh, right camera, left camera, factory backup camera. If the car doesn't have factory backup camera you can add one all right so you're gonna see every single option available including DVD on the front screen we remove the radio so this car has a DVD and again doesn't matter if you install CarPlay or you're installing smartphone mirroring it is all the same procedure first we want to connect the harness so because we have a factory DVD player here Right, we have a DVD button right there. We want to see DVD on the front screen. So first we're going to install this harness. So you're going to find the 28 pin connector like this in the back of the radio. You're going to unplug it and put this in line. Right, so let's go ahead and find the connector. So we can put this in line. So going back to the radio. And locate the 28 pin connector. Unplug the 28 pin T connector. 28 pin harness. 28 in plug connector now plug in the supplied one so we gave you we supply it with one go a little bit down here like this okay so the supplied one plugs in here and then this goes into the back of the radio so now you got the video output from factory DVD to your top screen Second one, we're going to go with your audio inputs. Even though you have auxiliary over here, you can plug in directly. You have this cable. 20 pin connector, like eight. So let's go look in the back of the radio. Okay, 20 pin connector right here. We'll unplug the 20 pin connector. Plug in here. And then plug this 
into the back of the radio. So now you got your audio inputs into your stereo so you can hear your car player mirroring through the car speakers and you got your video output so you can see your factory DVD on the top screen. Now let's go back to the installation on top of the screen. So you can put this temporarily back here and the reason I'm leaving everything like this there's a very good reason for that because you don't want to install anything permanently into the car before you test it so we got our cables right here you got the audio RCAs and you got the video RCA we're first going to test everything before we close the car you leave everything open you test every single connection then when you know everything is working you put everything nicely and you close but you don't want to close anything before you show everything is working just put it in place or have somebody help you hold it while you put it in place and finish installation so we install stuff behind the radio now we have to install the connector behind the screen so let's go ahead to behind the screen install the supply t-harness behind the radio it's this t-harness it's just plug and play 100 percent plug and play this wire that you have loose here tape off the end if you have the camera this needs to be grounded if vehicle is not equipped with a factory rear view camera so just match the connect in the back of the radio we got the connector here plug it in and then plug this and route it on the bottom so over here you have access to the cable so you can do the testing then in the package you got another plug and play harness this harness plugs in into the main T harness and what you got on here is you got these wires you got this five wires all right these wires are not used on this car except for the white one if you're doing mirroring in CarPlay you don't have to in use none of these wires they're already insulated at the end do not use them with mirroring you will need this if you're not purchasing optional remote you will need this to activate the interface with a push button even with mirroring you can buy optional remote so in CarPlay none of these wires are used in mirroring just the white wire is used you got input for the wireless remote control right here this is the input for the wireless remote control this is your audio output that connects to these two RCAs that you ran here before and so these two you will connect together this is your audio outputs so you can hear auxiliary mirroring or car play through your car speakers and then you got four inputs front left and right lane watch cameras if you don't have rear camera you can use it uh, the rear camera input for the installed rear camera if you have factory DVD like this car has you can use one of the camera inputs like rear camera for the DVD player and factory camera will continue to work so we're going to show you full loaded options and everything Again, keep in mind, the procedure we've shown you is identical for CarPlay or mirroring. You got this 10-pin connector on this harness. So on this harness, you got this 10-pin connector. It's not used. So the T-harness you install behind the radio. Go ahead and put those two together. All right, so this is now connected as one. Now, we need to connect the RCAs together. You can use anything. You can use a little barrel connectors or a little male to male connector. We have this small cable type of deal. You can use anything. So we're going to connect audios together. So audio output. So this is where the interface is going to plug in at the end. So we need two cables, right? So this is audio output right, left, and audio output right. So we'll connect them together. And then we're going to plug them in 
into the audio RCAs that we have over here into the car radio so now we'll be able to hear audio from your interface whether it's CarPlay or mirroring for iPhone or Android and hear it through the car speakers and then we also have video so even though we have rear camera we're gonna have one unused input which is a rear camera input because we have factory camera the rear camera input is unused we're gonna use rear camera input of the interface to see factory DVD on the front screen so we're connecting it here so now you got all this connected so you have audio and video audio from your CarPlay your mirroring going into your car speakers and video from your factory DVD gonna go up to the screen so we can basically go ahead and continue with our installation but we're also installing front camera and two side cameras so if you're not installing those cameras it is okay it's gonna work as normal but we're installing the cameras just to show you how it feels and looks like when it's fully loaded okay so we have plugged in all our cameras we got right left and front camera connected we're gonna connect the interface and we're gonna test everything out keep in mind that the cameras are not adjusted we just put them in to show you how it works but we didn't adjust them to exact angles or mounting locations please keep in mind when the interface arrives it is blank you gotta update it using our updater we have a video on how to do the update these two switches must be set to on position which are down you see release key on top down and then go ahead and just plug in the interface once you plug it in you let it hang and start to do the testing okay so we installed the mirroring let's go ahead and test our cameras right camera so you got right lane watch camera this is the right side these lines are come with the camera you can get a camera without lines again this is not adjusted just just to show you that the right camera could be turned on while driving and you see this is the right door handle and the right side of the car same thing we got left camera the left side of the car again different lines but you can get camera without lines this is just we're showing you what it's capable of now you got in reverse you got rear camera and in drive you got front camera front camera shuts off automatically after 10 miles an hour so basically as soon as you reach speed of 10 miles an hour the front camera will shut off now all of these cameras can be turned on manually there are two ways to control them if you purchase mirroring you can buy an optional remote this remote it's very small it's specifically designed for CarPlay or mirroring devices in mirroring it only controls the camera and CarPlay controls everything we'll show you that later on the remote gets mounted to the steering wheel like so let us show you so let's go over here to the steering wheel all right so it mounts to the steering wheel and it's like factory okay so the remote is very small as you can see and it's the way it's designed it's just sitting here it's unibody so it's not like it mounts to anything one remote does everything and you can mount it to any part of the steering wheel and it's not gonna bother and it's not gonna move because the way it's designed it's designed to push against the steering wheel it's not gonna damage your steering wheel and it looks very very clean and nice when installed in a car so this is how nice it looks on a steering wheel got it right here it's very small compared to the whole steering wheel it takes up no space and when you push it it doesn't move anywhere no matter how hard you push you see I'm pushing very hard because the way of the design it's made to be one with the steering wheel and it's very small front camera rear camera left camera right camera off in CarPlay mode it does the same thing but when you enter CarPlay mode it controls the CarPlay so we're gonna show you that when we do the CarPlay so instant access to front rear left and right cameras 
and let's go ahead and see this. Now with the remote that's mounted to your steering wheel, here's how you control the cameras. Rear camera is factory here so we have no access to that. You got front camera, left camera, right camera, and then the power button shuts everything off. So now we're playing the DVD in the back. Your DVD in the car is not connected to the front. Let's activate the input. And now you can see the DVD video. It's loading up, I guess, but you will be able to see the DVD right now on the front screen. So right there, you got your DVD. So this is the movie playing. And now, basically, whatever plays in the back, you will be able to see it on the front. So right there, you got your movie. So if you have Rear Seat Entertainment, you can see it right on the front on your screen now. So you got front camera, left camera, right camera, DVD player, and now we're going to show you mirroring. You can mirror iPhone and Android wirelessly, and you can mirror iPhone with a wire. If you want YouTube, you're going to have to go with the wire. There are two benefits to go with the wire. Benefit number one is mirroring. You don't have to fumble out with wireless. Benefit number two, when mirroring, you still need to charge the phone. This takes care of charging, so you'll be able to charge the phone. It's a very dark DVD, actually, I chose so. But you'll be able to mirror the phone and charge at the same time. So instead of having a charger in the car, you nicely route the cable. You can route it underneath somewhere, and you'll be able to see your you'll be able to see your phone on a car screen. Again, you can mirror, we're gonna show you iPhone. You can mirror iPhone and Android on the screen. Android uses Miracast, iPhone uses AirPlay, and iPhone can be done with a regular wire, same cable used for charging. No lightning to HDMI required, same cable used for charging. Let's get into the mirroring. Okay, so this is mirroring, right? So you can mirror, this is your phone, home screen, and you can mirror anything you want. Basically, this is your phone. We're gonna go ahead into ways this is Waze, you got Waze on the screen and basically whatever you see on the phone you see in the car screen and we can do YouTube so right there this is the YouTube app and you got the YouTube we can play it let's play the YouTube and it plays right there on the screen so basically whatever you see on your um, whatever you see on your phone screen you will see the same thing you see you will see on the car screen you can mirror iPhone and Android to your car screen. Android wireless via Miracast. This is Android signal. iPhone wireless via AirPlay. But if you want to do YouTube, you will have to do by wire. So regular cable. And it's going to do the charging too. And because you will need to charge your phone when you do mirroring one way or another. So this will do the double plug in and it mirrors the phone if you don't want to purchase the optional remote control this remote control is included with CarPlay but it's optional with mirroring if you don't want to purchase this you can go ahead and purchase small push button like this so this push button surface mounted you can buy any normally open push button that you like we sell a button like this it connects to this white wire on the interface. On the interface, we got the white wire. It has a heat shrink on it. You got two wires on the push button. One wire to the white wire, another wire to the 12 volt source. The way it works, you press and hold for two seconds and it activates the interface. With every single push, it cycles through the inputs. Press and hold to go back home. Okay, so this is how it works with the push button. Press and hold the push button for two seconds interface switches and then you cycle through the available inputs if the inputs are off you will not be able to cycle them so just cycle let's say you know mirroring and front camera but since we have all the cameras installed that's how they cycle keep in mind if you're not installing a certain feature like a left camera like let's say we have a left camera that works here with the left turn signal when you put the left turn signal on, nothing will happen on the screen. So you don't have to worry about having like a blank screen or something. Now let's go ahead and demo Apple CarPlay. 
installation is the same as mirroring so if you want to see the installation process go back to the beginning and see all the wiring connections and now we're going to show you connection of the Apple CarPlay please keep in mind all the modules come empty with no software you will need to program the software using our online updater and configure it for your car program and configuration takes less than one minute all right now we're going to plug in the CarPlay and we're going to show you all the options front camera left camera right camera rear camera with CarPlay you're going to install microphone and the wireless remote receiver and you're going to have this nice remote that we're going to show you mounts on the steering wheel the remote has access to all the cameras so you got front camera left camera right camera rear camera again these lines this is just demo cameras you can buy cameras without the lines you got the right camera you got the rear camera and they all work with turn signals if you don't install these cameras none to worry about with the left turn signal you got left camera with the right turn signal you got right camera in reverse you get rear camera and then drive you got the front camera up to 10 miles an hour but with the supply remote you can control them automatically at any time so if you're driving and you just want to watch let's say left camera all the time press left camera when you press OK it enters the CarPlay mode now in the CarPlay mode we got the following here's what we can do inside the CarPlay mode we can do control the entire CarPlay in the CarPlay mode the remote controls CarPlay you see it highlights the features but it no longer uses the camera selection so this is smart remote it knows when you're in the camera mode or in the CarPlay mode so if you get out of the CarPlay mode you will be able to select the cameras but once you enter the CarPlay mode no longer cameras now you're able to control the CarPlay so this is a smart remote no one else on the market has this kind of technology now if you would go into any of the features like let's say into the maps you can control all your maps you see it highlights with the blue the selection this is the same way that CarPlay is controlling any European non touchscreen car or even the newer 2018 um, Acuras and Hondas back button you got dedicated back button that gets out of all your menus and then goes like to say to the home screen Siri activates the Siri don't forget in order to hear the audio you have to be in the CarPlay mode basically CarPlay is the same in any car so no matter what car you're in you'll have the same CarPlay and this remote is very small in your steering wheel so let us show you how small this remote is and how nice it is on your steering wheel so let's take it over to the steering wheel see this is the remote right there and it's very small as you can see and now the most important part no matter how hard you try to push it it will never move you see I'm pushing very hard the reason it doesn't move is because of the design it is made to push against the steering wheel so it's not gonna move and it's unibody remote so if you look at it you can see it's one piece it's not multi-piece it's very small as you can see and it fits nicely with your car it just sits there so you got front camera instant access rear camera instant access left camera and right camera instant access power button back Siri okay so this is when in CarPlay mode you got Siri up down left right enter back back to the screen and so CarPlay is same in every single car in the world right so if I would go into let's say tune in application watch the iPhone screen see it opens up the type tune in if I exit out to home it would go to home on CarPlay so this is true CarPlay experience and basically if I were to unplug this let me show you this um, when we plug it in uh, your phone screen changes to CarPlay and check this out I plug this in and look what you're gonna get in one second CarPlay is going to appear see it says Apple CarPlay this is not mirroring this is CarPlay with the controller it's the same way the CarPlay is operated in any non touchscreen car again 2018 Acuras and Hondas and all the 
European cars such as BMW and Mercedes. They all have the controller, which is joystick, so this is a joystick on the steering wheel. So you can control the entire car play experience. And also, don't forget, you can connect your rear DVD and see it on the front screen as well. So if you want to watch your factory DVD on the car screen, you can do it too. You exit out of the car play. And we should have the factory right there. You got the movie from your factory DVD. So if you have factory DVD in the car, you'll be able to play that movie right on the front screen and enjoy it. After you connect everything and you finish testing everything, please keep in mind that you first need to test to make sure all the options work and then you only then you start putting the car together after you confirm that everything works and you're not going to have to take it apart again. So con connect all your features, make sure they work and only then start closing the car. Please click the logo found on the left hand side to subscribe to our channel. Subscription works on iPhones, Android, tablet, computers. Also leave a comment and press the like button. If you want to watch our other videos, click on the video on the right hand side. Thank you for watching.